Race. Race. <laughs> <laughs> Race. <laughs> 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 Race. 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 Is he sound? I can't say his name for the legal reasons. It's just the legal name. Right, the legal reasons. Right. The head teacher is a fucking. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, beautiful. <laughs> Why are you interested in physics, Michael? It's just a very interesting subject. <laughs> Obviously, I wasn't happy with a pure glake vacancy expression on the face, so I thought, right, you lot, you are doing a wee mad video on physics, because I'm not happy with the lack of revision you are doing. So here he's going in your buttons, here's my mad fourth year class with our mad revision video. It's called... F4 half your lot! Yes, sir! This is the ball launcher. It is just pure common sense by the way. The distance the ball travels depends on the angle of the launch and the speed of the launch. More elastic bands make it launch at a faster speed and the best angle for launch is 45 degrees. See if we drop a ball on a surface, the best combination to make the ball rebound higher is to use the hardest bar and the hardest surface and also drop it from a higher height. But that is boring, so we went back to the ball launcher and started firing balls at people walking by. Yowdy! The laser is a concentrated beam of light and it's always only one colour. Here we use a can of deodorant to show you the beam going along to the wall. This wee thing here is a prism which pure splits up light. It pure shows you how white light for bulbs in the sun is actually a mixture of colours, which we group into seven colours. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. Or oisy biv. All the stuff with lens and specs and all that, we couldn't be bothered then. We all know an electric circuit is a complete path of conductors like wires and bulbs and stuff. If there is a gap, then no current flows. If the gap is closed, then current flows. We could have showed you boring voltmeters and ammeters and series and parallel circuits and how in a series circuit the current stays the same at every point and the battery voltage splits up around the circuit. We could have showed you how in a parallel circuit the voltage stays the same down the different branches and the current splits up. We could have even showed you how the resistance affects the current in a circuit. Big resistance means a small current and vice versa. That by the way is Latin which just means it works the way around as well, you're daft alright. But what we did here is show you how when you put a current down a wire with some resistance then friction down at the atomic level causes heat and that heat pure makes the wire glow and give out uh, heat. A kettle and an electric fire work this way but the version also gives it a lot of light. That's how an electric filament bulb works. Being an experimental physicist, we just had to start chopping crap up. beautiful.
To show you how logic gates work, there's only one option. We wanted to show you how the three logic gates, which are not and and or, actually work in real life. So we wired together this circuit, which is a simple teacher booby trap, just for a wee bit of fun. You have a light sensor which will detect when the teacher stands outside the door, or you have a pressure sensor which the teacher will stand on. So if the light sensor is a zero, or the push switch is a one, then we want electrification. To stop us getting pre electrocuted, the whole thing has a master on and off switch. Cause the light sensor gives you a zero when it's dark, we pop a wee knock gate after it, so we get a one when you stand on it or make it dark. We should point out though that no teachers were harmed in the making of this video. After what no one's a different matter. <laughs> Running down the corridor is as simple as it sounds. We ran down the corridor. This was to show how the equation average speed equals distance divided by time actually works in real life. We marked off a distance of 50 metres and then timed how long it took to run 50 metres. Usain Bolt your rocket Morrison did it in 6.4 seconds which means the average speed would be 50 divided by 6.4 which is pure 7.8 metres a second. Obviously this isn't his top speed because he had to accelerate at the start. The actual Usain Bolt had an average speed of about 10.4 metres a second when he broke the world record for being heavy rapid. Forces are measured in newtons. Your weight is a force going down to the centre of the earth because of gravity. On earth your weight is your mass times 10. Because 10 is like, you know, gravity on earth and that. Obviously we started flexing our muscles and seeing who was the strongest and who could produce the biggest force. So your bear hugs are around 500 newtons. This doesn't tell us much other than we are extremely cuddly. Ladies. Yeah man, that's terrible. Trying to chat with the birds even in a revision video. Anyway, hopefully you've all enjoyed our revision video for physics. Uh, if you have not, then that's no my fault, it's your fault for being stupid. But uh, there's some good solid physics in there. Uh, they'll do York or University proud, let me tell them that. Good luck in your exams, guys. It's been a pleasure to teach you. It's been fun. It's been an experience. It has been a fun experience. Catch you, boss at J. That's a bunch of things I'm not going to get back half life. So I'll do it side to side as well. So a bit faster than that. It's gonna fire. That was bad, isn't it? <laughs> Well, I'm looking at the other side, the other side's been fire on it. I have to take it, Sean. Oh, Rose. You're going to sit. Is anyone going to go up again? You're going to go up again. I told you I should have done it. I love that smell. Smells like my toast in the morning. No, I'm going to take the fire and sit with Sean. No, I'm going to sit with Sean. Oh, mate. Be sure to pack it, man.